So when we're asking the question, what's going wrong with medical practice, decisions about medical practice are based on stuff that's happening in the background. And there, I think we should focus on three important loci. I call these the three R's. Regulation, research, and really bad pharmaceutical companies. <laughs> so the medical research is malleable. Um, the best trials and meta-analyses can be bent to the will of the scientists that are performing them. Uh, I have this nice quote from an insider epidemiologist at the FDA. This is David Graham. He's, he's, been one of, he's been one of my heroes because he's a kind of insider that fights the good fight. Um, here's what Graham says about the FDA, his employer. The FDA is inherently biased in favor of the pharmaceutical industry. It views industry at it as its client, whose interests it must represent and advance. It views its primary mission as approving as many drugs as it can, regardless of whether the drugs are safe or needed. I kind of wonder what his boss said about that. But, <laughs> but that's David Graham, an insider of the FDA. So research, regulation, and then we've heard about really bad pharmaceutical industries. Uh, d and David, do you, do you think that better regulation could help, or is that just um, you know, a sticking plaster over a deeper problem? Well, two quick problems. I think uh, our instinctive response to these things is to turn to regulation. It probably shouldn't be. The key thing that I'm trying to say to you is you need to trust yourselves. If you're on a pill and something's happening, you need to listen to yourself. There are no father figures out there who are going to put things right, particularly the regulators. FDA and MHRA in this country don't regulate medicine, don't regulate doctors. They regulate the wording of adverts. And this is why David Graham is a little naive, it seems to me, if he's saying the kinds of things he's saying. I actually know David Graham. Uh, and he's a Christian, born-again Christian, who's got strong ethics. And all, but FDA isn't about that. It's about the wording of adverts. The system was put in place following a horrific tragedy, the thalidomide tragedy. And this is what governs the practice of medicine today. And where before regulation was about making sure medicines are safe, they switched it to making sure medicines were efficacious, effective. They thought this was going to be a contribution to safety. If the pharmaceutical industry was forced to show the drugs work, well, that would be a little bit safer than having drugs out there which don't work, okay? But in actual fact, the premium it, we've ended up with a premium on efficacy. And it's a bit like the situation where, I mean, nowhere else do we talk about effective roads or effective cars. We talk about things being safe. I mean, there's a few men who like to drive fast cars, but for the most part, the issue with cars is all about trying to keep them safe. This is what people are concerned about. The issue with planes, if you get on a plane going to New York, okay, you're not interested in the most effective plane. Does it get to New York 15 minutes earlier than the other plane I might get that gets there 100% of the time? You'll go for the one that gets there 100% of the time. If you invest in the stock market, nobody's there trying to make sure the stock market is effective. They're there trying to ensure that things are as transparent as we can so that you, you know what you're doing and you're, as it were, safe. Instead, we've got this premium on effectiveness, which is leading to people being put on tons of different drugs with no regard for whether you're actually being kept safe or not. So, But it doesn't presumably have to be an either-or situation. I mean, you can, it seems to me, uh, you, 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 could, you okay. can test for both of those things in well, clinical trials, safety and efficacy. Well, no, 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 you can't. You can only test one thing in a clinical trial. You, you may keep an eye on a bunch of other things that are happening, but you cannot test. A drug does 100 things, and the clinical trial is all about hypnotizing the investigator to look on what, at what's called the primary outcome. And even that is commonly falsified. But the 99 other things that happen to you on a pill are not being looked at. There may be occasional hints that this SSRI is going to wipe out your sex life and all, but in actual fact, the clinical trial won't give you good data on this. So RCTs are, I mean, the biggest problem we've got is your doctor used to see you and used to listen to you. They don't, because they just look at the computer screen that has the evidence on it about what this drug does and nothing about its safety profile. And that's the problem we've got. That's what we've got to try and reverse. And regulation is not going to reverse that. For more debates, talks and interviews, Subscribe today to the Institute of Art and Ideas at IAI-TV.